You hear a lot about the fiscal cliff, and uh, the fiscal cliff is really more about a slope more than anything else, although um, some people argue uh, with the... Uh, with uh, taxes uh, going up, that could uh, impact the economy rather quickly. Certainly the cuts to uh, programs would be phased in over the course of 10 years, so it's not exactly a cliff. However, David Dan makes the point that one thing that's going to expire, where we don't hear much people talking about, is long-term extended unemployment insurance. Two million long-term uninsured, I mean, excuse me, unemployed, would lose their benefits right around the time of Christmas. That represents apparently um, one quarter of the long-term unemployed. Jobless are eligible for up to 73 weeks of unemployment insurance. It was 99. Republicans in Congress uh, quashed that down to 73, only half of the unemployed collect benefits at this point. Letting federal ex benefits expire would cut off another quarter. It would cost $39 billion extending the unemployment benefits, $39 $39 billion next year, and uh, Dan points out that this is a great economic stimulus as well because the unemployed are not taking their unemployment insurance and saying, hey, I'm going to invest some of this in, like, uh, in the stock market, let's say. No, they're buying goods that they need to survive. And that money goes immediately into the economy. Extended unemployment benefits have never been cut off with the unemployment rate above 7.2%. So just to put this in context, it's, it lets you know the, the size of this recession and, on relative terms, the failure of our government to deal with it. 